Hi everyone, I'm Lillian. And I'm Felipe. And we are the Postmodern Family. We are Americans living in the UK searching for Great Britain. We make three new videos every week, so we'd love it if you subscribe to our channel. In today's episode, we're going to review our best video from September, specifically the top comments underneath that video. So this is our commenting on your comments video for the month of September. So the top video for September was our list video in which we talked about the foods that we've incorporated in our home, the British foods that we've incorporated in our home since moving here. It has 21,000 views, is that right? It's 21,000 views. So here we go, top comments. Number one comes from Phil Pope. Says, apple pie was invented in England in the 14th century and is no way American. So that goes directly against as American as mom, pop, apple pie. Yeah, it's mom easy and as, no, it's easy as apple pie. Easy as Sunday morning. You're oh, what, so as American as apple pie? Mm -hmm, that's the same, yeah. Okay, number two comes from Captali. This is a long time subscriber, Captali is. I like him. He says, my mom could have listed 101 disastrous consequences for naughty little boys who left a teaspoon in the cup when drinking. Not to mention the irretrievable shame brought upon the family. Okay, we're Americans and we leave the teaspoon in the cup. It's well, just why do okay. we leave it in there? So that we can continue to stir it in case it doesn't get but mixed well. But is the tea well. the kind of drink that you don't need to continue to stir? Well, when you, when you dissolve sugar in your tea, you, you need to stir it to dissolve it. But sometimes it doesn't dissolve all the way or somehow the, the sugary substance settles at the bottom. So then are you meant to put the spoon back in, stir it, I and think, then take it back I out? I think that is it. But yeah. apparently it's this, this polite custom here in the UK that we didn't know about, did we? Number three, Nige M says, you ought to try toad in the hole. Yorkshire pudding mix with sausages roasted in a baking tray, served with onion gravy. Very traditional British dish. So I Google this and it looks amazing. What does it look like? Tell me what's in it. It's like a Yorkshire pudding, except it didn't take the shape of Yorkshire pudding. It just was like flat and just <laughs> smeared down okay. with a sausage inside. Okay. <laughs> so almost like a Yorkshire melted with a sausage inside. What? Okay, Pat McDonald, number three, sorry, number four, comes from Pat McDonald, and he says, or she, toad in the hole, pretty much Yorkshire pudding plus sausage combination. There it is. You gotta try that. Okay. And here's the weird one. Look, number five is with six likes, and then number six with 37 likes. Now it's 38 likes. Mm-hmm. Then you can pick, you can skip to the next high one you think is good. Okay, so for number five, I will pick from uh, Diefer9999. Says, take that spoon out, you common ruffian. This was a running theme on our video, which we had never heard of before because our viewers have never seen us with a teaspoon in our cup before, I right? think they have. I think they have. No, they haven't, they have. or else they would have commented. No, they have and they did, but it wasn't as much a viewed video as this one. I see. Yeah. So. What's the big deal? I don't know, it's a big deal. Why is it such a big deal here? Mm, such a big deal. Can you so, think of something? So, toad in the hole, get the spoon out of the cup. What is another parallel, an American parallel, that's a polite thing to do, but maybe has very little practicality. Can you think of one? No. Because personally, for me, the teaspoon in the cup, I find practical to leave it in there. It, for Just I'm, like you find it practical when you go into the cupboard to leave the cupboard door open. Sometimes. Tell, tell us about that. Let's talk about Why that. Why are we talking about that? <laughs> because we're trying to get five minutes. So, and it's analogous. I think it's connected. It is. So let's talk about the cabinet. Why yeah. do you, or drawers even, uh -huh. why do you leave those open sometimes? Because I'm going to go back into them. How soon? Within, while I'm still in the same room. 
So, but that could be five, ten minutes, right? Yeah. <laughs> so you leave the cup or the spoon in the cup because you might need it five minutes later. Yeah. Yeah. So what do the commenters have to say about that? I don't know. But we asked some of our British friends. They said they never heard of it. They said they never heard of it, yeah. Because maybe they've never done it. They've never actually seen it. It's just automatic behavior for them. To take the spoon out of the Yeah, cup. so they've never, they don't know how to react if someone were to leave it. And why do people keep saying you're gonna poke your eye out? Like, we've drank all our lives with a teaspoon in a cup and we've never mm. poked our eye out. So what's the deal with that? I think that's just what moms would say to their kids to stop the habit. So kind of like did, say, stop making that face. Mothers. Your face is gonna stay that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ma, we we didn't have mothers who told us that growing up. Because it wasn't a thing in the U.S. Yeah. A bad thing. But then again, in the U.S., when I grew up in hot and steamy South Florida, we just hot drinks. No one, never, 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 ever, mm -hmm. ever. Except but for then, coffee. But also cold drinks. You would mm. leave a spoon in no. to to shake to stir. Like a shake? No, as Nicaraguans, this is a distinct Nicaraguan trait. Is you have a um, straw in your cup, mm -hmm. and you're always using the straw to shake. Yeah. Or you do this business. Yeah. I you do. shake the whole cup. Right, right, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. We do that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, so there's nothing that you can think of that's American that we would teach. Well, let's say hands, on, elbows on the table. Mm. That would be a polite, you know, you need to keep your elbows off the table when you're eating dinner. I think they do that here too. I know, but yeah. um, but is it practical? I don't know if there's any practicality to it, except that it just looks more polite, mm. right? More proper. Yeah. What's the practicality of making sure you don't put your elbows on the table? I think the practicality for men is to always be ready to fight. And if you're resting your elbows, you're you not can't ready fight. to fight. Yeah, <laughs> you'll be caught off guard. What does eating a meal have to do with fighting? Situational awareness. You're meant to always be situationally aware. But having your hands in your lap underneath the table is worse than having them above the table. In politeness or in readiness? In readiness. No, not 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 true. Because then, what if you need to not defend because, yourself? No, because when you're your resting, caught, you're, you're resting like when you're doing this. Usually, when you have your hands on the table, you, you've got one head. No, you don't. Yeah. I don't do that. Yeah. No, because what will happen is, if you're resting your hand, then you can easily block your face or use your hands. Whereas if they're underneath it, you're going to hit the table. <laughs> <laughs> and also, it leaves your hands um, not visible from a potential attacker. So you can have like a knife or a gun or something and you... Well, that's true. They use that in movies a lot. That means it's true then. Yes. Yeah. That is the and Lillian's uh, view <laughs> of life. Well, should we just chat, chat a little bit about how our diet's going? Sure. I guess. How is it going? I haven't weighed myself in a few days, but... Yeah, it's going great. Yeah. I, I... Do you think you can eat this food on the list that we were commenting on, that they're commenting on? Yeah, I can and eat still it. Still lose weight? Yeah, as long as you eat um, less than your calorie requirement. Yeah. I, I I haven't been able to continue losing weight. I've started gaining weight. Hey. I don't understand what's happening. It's very demoralizing. Hmm. I'm feeling tired a lot. Hmm. It's just... So I've given up on the intermittent fasting. Yeah, it's just female-itis, I think. <laughs> I don't know, I got down pretty good and then... I'm Gave just, up. And then I just hey. plateaued and then started to go back up. Yeah. Hey. Oh, well. Excuse me. Mm. You're okay? Yeah. Thanks for watching this video, we hope you enjoyed it. Let us know in the comments below what you would like us to do more of, and also maybe we'll be reading your comments next time, so be sure to leave comments on all of our videos. And if you like the shirts that we wear, they're for sale. <laughs> we have t-shirts, mugs, and tote bags for sale. They, you can find them underneath the video. So if you really like the stuff that we put together, you can support us by buying those things.
Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.